Good morning, Ms. Maricar. Good morning, ma'am. Okay, Ms. Maricar, can you tell me about yourself? My name is Maricar Alivius Sator, ma'am. I'm 41 years old. Okay, I have this question so, for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? Because I have experience in domestic helper, ma'am, in Oman. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Because near in the Philippines, ma'am. How are you qualified for this job? Because I have experience in domestic helper, ma'am. May I know what is your education level is? I'm a vocational graduate, ma'am, of hotel restaurant management. What is your recent working experience? Kindly can, can repeat, ma'am. Okay, so just, okay. Uh, just listen. What is your recent working experience? I'm I'm I'm, I'm recent for working experience, ma'am. Uh, pardon, Miss Maricar. What is your recent working experience? I'm working in um, a domestic helper in Oman, ma'am, in four years. Okay. Have you worked abroad before? Yes, ma'am. Can you please uh, tell me the place and how many years and months that you work? I'm working in Oman, ma'am, two years and five months as a waitress and supervisor. Okay, so... So, you work in Oman as a waitress for two years and five months. Only that? Yes, ma'am. Miss Maricar, so only that one. So, you work only as a waitress and a supervisor? Because you mentioned that you also, your recent working experience, uh, you work as a domestic helper, right? Yes, yeah, since 2006, ma'am. I'm working as a domestic helper. So how many years you work as a domestic helper? Two years, ma'am. Okay. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. And whose baby you are taking care of? It's my daughter of my cousin, ma'am. Okay. May I know uh, May I know also if you have experience at taking care of an elder or older people? Yes, ma'am. The mother of my uh sponsor ma'am my employer how old is the mother of your the mother of the of your sponsor 65 years old ma'am okay do you have any other special skills yes ma'am may i know what special skills do you have i'm a domestic helper ma'am mm -hmm. so being a domestic helper what is the special skills of a domestic helper i do my duty ma'am to clean uh clean the, my responsibility to clean the house, ma'am, and then tidy the, and uh, washing, and uh, clean the house, and uh, iron, cooking, and clean the car, ma'am. Okay. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? Ms. Maricar, are you still working now? No, ma'am. I'm here in the Philippines, ma'am. Okay. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Chinese food, ma'am. Especially Chinese food and Arabic food, ma'am. Okay. Can you please uh, tell me what Arabic food or dishes that you can cook? Need a fried rice, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Chinese soup and uh, baked macaroni, ma'am. Okay. So the one that you mentioned is Chinese food, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? No, ma'am. Maricar, are you... Yes. Okay, uh, let me repeat again the question. Just listen carefully. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Uh, yes, ma'am. From all the house chores or household work, such as cooking, cleaning, ironing, and washing, which do you like most? Cleaning, ma'am. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I think I... 
This is not the question, okay? You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will turn back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing or using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you're not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you're not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Uh, yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics or your attitude? Can you repeat the question, ma'am? Okay. Can you describe for me your ethics or your attitude? Uh, okay, ma'am. I'm hardworking. I'm honest. Okay. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I will finish my contract, ma'am. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, example, breast cancer or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit? No, ma'am. Uh, what can you repeat the question, ma'am? Are you medically fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Ms. Maricar, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Upon arriving in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members pass away, what will you do? Will you continue to work till finish your contract or you will go back? I will not go home and continue and continue my work, ma'am. Okay. Tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as a domestic helper? Because I'm hardworking, ma'am. And a loyal. Okay, Miss Maricar. What do you want to tell to your employer who watching your video? Hi, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. I place a uh, choice me because uh, I I have experience in a domestic helper and uh, I'm a hardworking and a loyal mom. Promise. I have. Uh, I'm promised to work well, mom. Okay. Thank you very much, Miss Maricar. 
we will access yes. your agency if there's any selection made to the employer. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.